Today I'm going to show you how to do a border around a picture in picture within DaVinci Resolve 15, which is still in the beta version, but very, very powerful and I love to use it. Now I've done a lot of research and I've found a lot of videos out there on how to do a picture in picture, but I haven't seen how to do a picture in picture with a border around the picture in picture. So I took a few minutes, figured out how to do it, and thought I would share it with you. Now I'm not a professional video editor by no means. I do these videos for my YouTube channel, mostly dealing with backpacking and hiking along the Appalachian Trail. But I wanted to figure out how to do it, so I did and figured I would pass it along. So to start with, I'm going to grab two videos that I've already loaded. And I'll pull the first one down and put it in video track one along with this audio. And at the same time, I'll go ahead and bring in the second video and put it in video track two along with this video in audio two. Now, I don't need the audio for the purpose of this tutorial, so I'm going to go ahead and just click on the first one, control, and click on the second one, and then do my right click and say cut, and I got rid of the audio. Don't really need them. Now what I'm going to do is just the timeline down so I can just get rid of the audio and expose this video track three, which I'll need in a few minutes. Here again, I don't need this link to video, so I'm going to move over to about 13 seconds. Select the razor tool, come down and on track two, cut it, come down to track one and cut it as well. Go back to the selection mode, click the first one, control, second one, right click, cut. And now I'm down to something very easy to work with, about 13 seconds on my two videos. Now the way this works is whatever's on video track one is on the bottom, video track two, next, video track three, and so on. So with, I'll go ahead and select video two, and that's what's on top, it's sitting on top of video one. So in order to kind of scale it down so I can see one behind it, I'll come over to this little down arrow, click on it, and select the transform tool. Now I've got all these handles that I can adjust it with. So I'm just going to grab this bottom one, drag it down, and there you have it. You've got a video and video with the first one coming up behind the second one. If I deselect the transform handles and go ahead and hit the play button, you can now see you've got video and video. You could stop at this point and you're done. You've got it nice and easy. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. Put the transfer handle, handles back on it. You can move it around anywhere on the screen you want to and it works just the same. I kind of gotten used to where I like them on the bottom right. I'm going to go ahead and put the time marker back to the beginning and then I'm going to start working with this a little bit to show you how to do it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a certain location so I can put the border around it. I'll know what those locations are. So I'm going to go over to the XY position marker and double click in here and type in 620. And then go over to the Y and type in minus 340. Now what this did is it put it right about the exact point that I was looking for. Now the zoom level, I'm going to come over here and type in 0 0.320. And with this link right here, it almost looks like a chain link. It keeps the X and Y proportionally correct. So now I've got this exactly where I want it. I'll take off the transform so you can see a little bit better. It's got a little bit of an edge on the side of it so I can see around it. And I like this just about where it is. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and see about putting the border around this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag video two up to video three, go to my effects library under toolbox, generators, solid color, click and drag this down. And then I'll go ahead and drag this out to make the timeline the exact same as the other two videos. Now with that said, this is all black now, and you see video three sitting here. Well, what it is, is you've got video one, you've got the big black one sitting on video two, and then video three up here. And since we shrunk video three down, you can see it. So what we're going to do is work with the, the black box and get it adjusted down as well. So I've got, I clicked on it, so it's kind of highlighted. Up here in the name, I'm just going to type in and give it the name border. Now you can see that it's changed it down here, so now I know exactly which one I'm working with. So if you have multiple ones in there, easy to distinguish. So I'm going to go ahead and, with it highlighted, click the little transform form. Now I've got the exact same handles that I had when I worked with the other video. I'm just going to pull this up a little bit, move it over, and now you can really see the layering concept. This is video one, this is on video track two, and this is video three. So now you can really see the layering and how it works. 
With that said, I'm going to go ahead and move this black right on behind this second video. To do that, I know what the coordinates are. So I'll go down to the position and type in 620 under the X and under the Y. That was minus 340. So now the black is positioned right in the same center point as what the second video was sitting at. Now I can sit there and adjust these corners and try to get the board about where I want it to. But we know that this one was zoomed level was at 320. So what I'm going to do is go to the zoom level and type in 340, 0.340. And what that does is gives me just a little bit wider than what the other one was. And there you have it. Get rid of the transform box around it. And I'm going to slide the video over a little bit so I can get it over so you can see it. And now you have your border. And I think that looks a lot more and a little bit more professional. If you notice, though, the top and the bottom is a little bit thinner than the sides. Well, to do that, we can unclick the link and go over here. And this is at 0.340. We'll just bump that up to 0 0.350. 0 0.350. And now that adjusted it so the sides and the top and bottom look about the same. And you hit play, looks very nice. I love the border around the video. I think it adds a lot more to it. With that said, let's go ahead and scroll this back so we can see a little bit better. Let's get it right over the bridge so you can kind of see, see this a little bit. Now, some people don't like the harshness of the black border. Well, you can soften that up. If you'll scroll down and go under cropping and then softness, you can adjust the softness of it so it's not quite so harsh. It looks a lot nicer. Now when you hit play, it softens those corners all the way around it. looks a lot better. Now then, if you don't like black, you can come up and scroll back up to the top, go under color, and if you like red and you really want it to stand out, change it to red. Now that bottom really stands out. If you don't like black, you think it's too dark, you want to try to match the colors around what you're working with and go to a dark olive green or something. And now that may blend in a little bit more with the theme that you're looking for. And I'll hit play. And now you've got that green soft border around your picture in picture. I think it looks a lot better. That's it. You're done. Save your project and go on. I greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Hope you learned something. If you did, Please like, comment, and subscribe below, and have a great day.